Hello, this is John. Welcome to a special video. In this video, I will find out which fish do you wish was on your dish? Capiche? Anyway, in this video, I will be trying seven different fast food fish sandwiches with a blindfold, not knowing which one I'm being given. And I will rate it and I will try to guess which fast food restaurant it came from. I do know where these seven came from, so I have that advantage. Without further ado, let us go ahead and try fish sandwich number one, which will be given to me in a random order by my wife. I am ready. Present fish sandwich. Fish right. sandwich number one is in front of you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Now, I, I can't feel this, so I have that advantage as well. Um, I sent some sesame seeds on the top. Let's give this a try. Let's see, hopefully I can hit my mouth. Interesting. The fish is kind of chewy. And definitely some, I think what's shredded lettuce in there. And if I remember correctly, I think Arby's has the shredded lettuce on their fish sandwich. The fish in this one is pretty good. The sauce is nice and tangy. Um, I'm going to say this is Arby's, and we'll start this off around 7. You are correct. That is Arby's. With all the shredded lettuce. Okay, well, this one is obvious by feeling it. Um, it is White Castle. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. The biggest disadvantage for White Castle is they don't put tartar sauce on the sandwich. You have to ask for the packets on the side. And this makes this sandwich kind of dry. The, the the fish itself is dry, and that the cheese is kind of gummy on top of it. I'm gonna give this White Castle fish sandwich a four out of ten because it is dry. You are correct. It is White Castle. Two. The plate is in front of you. All right. All right. Okay. All righty. So. This is one of those shiny buns. I can feel the shine on it. It's kind of heavy. This is definitely the heaviest of the three I've had so far. Mmm. I bit that one in the correct spot. I got a nice bite that had pickle. And I can taste on that bun, there's a butteriness to it. I'm not sure if this has tartar sauce or not on there. I'm going to say this doesn't have tartar sauce on it. But the combination of a really buttery bun and those nice tangy pickles. And I've never had this sandwich before today, but this is Chick-fil-A's fish sandwich. And... Amazingly, without tartar sauce, it's not dry. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. You are correct on the location. The next one is in front of you. Okay, this one's shiny, but it's not as uniform as the other one. There's kind of like some lumpy sections. Oh, I have to feel... Uh, in my fingers, it is wet on the outside, probably from tartar sauce dripping off to the outside. So I'm going to lean over just in case this one gets messy. This one definitely has a lot of tartar sauce on it. The tartar sauce is very dill heavy. Almost like I can pull strands of like dill out of my teeth if I need to. Hmm. Definitely 
the best use of tartar sauce. The tartar sauce taste is the best, I would say. Probably can do with a little bit less of it. I want to say um, this is a place that does a little bit more fancier with their sauces uh, to make it a little bit more premium tasting. I'm going to say this is Wendy's and pretty good. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. You're on a roll. You are 100% correct. That going is for, Wendy's. Roll for the queen sweep. The next plate is in front of you. Okay. A uniform shinier top here. I feel a corner on there, so this is definitely a square one. Hmm. When I first felt it, I thought I instantly knew what it was. But the flavor is not clicking with what I remember that this should be. I'm trying to taste. Maybe I got a bite that didn't have any kind of tartar sauce on there. I don't know what else this could be. So I'm going to go with my original thought that this is the McFish from McDonald's. But there's something different about the flavor of this one that I don't really care for. Six out of ten. You're correct on the location. The next plate is in front of you. Okay. This is a bigger, rounder one. No sesame seeds on top. some heft to it. Mm. This one has a satisfying bite to it. It's one I had to open my mouth wide, wider than anything else. At least one more bite. Mm -hmm. I know this one. This one is big. It is the big fish from Burger King. And this is one of my favorites. That I've tasted so far today, we're going to give this one a 9 out of 10. You're correct on the location. I'm trying to remember what's left. The next plate is in front of you. Okay. That is the next and last All one right. in front of you. Uh, definitely sesame seeds on top of this one, and I can feel like lettuce or something sticking to that as well. There we go. Hmm. Let me try one more bite. So, I know what this one is. It's not the worst I've had today, but it's definitely on the lower portion of everything. I'm going to just say it's a 5 out of 10. And it's from Checkers and Rallies. And the reason why I don't like this one is the fry, the breading on the chip, on the fish just kind of has that older used grease kind of flavor to it, you know? And uh, the other parts of it just don't, don't do enough to overtake that old grease flavor. All right. Was you that correct? are correct. All right. Let's uh, I'm gonna take off my blindfold here. Okay. So there you have it. Um, the top three, I'm going to say... Chick-fil-A, the Burger King, is this one here? Last Burger King? Yes, sir. And the Wendy's one, which was the one I had right here. These are the top three. The Burger King one is probably like the, the meatiest, the one that's going to fill you up and taste good. The Chick-fil-A one, if you like regular Chick-fil-A, it's just that without chicken, it's fish. Still has the buttery pickles to it. And the Wendy's one had the best sauce, the best tartar sauce, really dilly, but they just put a little bit too much on this one. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hope you enjoyed this one, and we'll see you on the next one. So long. Bye-bye.